Well, John G. Andrea looks like someone you'd find in a fitness magazine. You'd probably never guess that he had once weighed close to 500 pounds. Fasting. What a weird, crazy thing fasting is. Not eating, not putting anything down your mouth for a short period of time, 12 hours, 18 hours, 24, 36, 48, maybe 72. Fasting is so beneficial. It's been around since the dawn of time, since the beginning of humans. As far back as religion can go back, as far as a human can go back. But what's funnier is even animals fast. When an animal is sick, it doesn't go out to eat. It crawls in somewhere, tries to be safe. It doesn't eat so it can heal. Yet there are critics that try to tell people that you're starving yourself and it is bad for you. What happens when you go get surgery? Do you eat right up to the second that you get surgery? Or do they tell you no food, no water, 12 or 24 hours before? But yet we always have excuses for fasting, right? Well, I have to have water or I have to have something in my stomach if I take a pain pill or anything, it makes me sick. But then why is it that when you're about to go get surgery, fluids, anesthesia, you name it, you have nothing in your stomach. Crazy how that works. It's always a reason why we can't do something. I just got done fasting, okay? 96 hours I did it. I made it. I lost 19 pounds, all water, inflammation, but I did it. And people come to me and say, why would you fast? First of all, fasting is kind of like a reset button. People really wanna get all technical. I'm gonna give you the biggie version of what fasting is. Fasting pushes a reset button. Think about it as if you take your car to get an oil change, right? If you get an oil change, you get clean oil and your car just kind of runs a little better. So does your body. But we're not talking about this kind of stuff because people don't really wanna put it all together. We need to go and donate blood. Every two months, donate blood. It's like an oil change again. Right, if a lot of you are on pills or, or depression medication or, or any kind of medication that's in your system and it just circulates and circulates and it fucking circulates and it has nowhere to go. So then you go donate blood and it makes your body make new blood. Now fasting is the exact same thing. You give your body a break. You give it a 12 hour, 18 hour. And what's funny about fasting is you sleep five, six, seven, eight hours so what's another 16 hours of not eating, but there's benefit? And that's the psychological part. As soon as you get hungry, oh, you have to run and eat. As soon as you get hungry, oh, I'm angry and now I can't function. I have a headache. Food, food, food. And that's our problem. We pack in food after food after food, year after year. What do you get? I was 485 pounds. I definitely didn't fast. I came out of the gate, I lost 225 pounds. I was eating three, four, five, six, seven meals a day, small meals, right? As every fucking trainer tries to tell you and this and that, you don't need six, seven meals a day because nine times out of 10, you eat too much. With fasting, you don't. With fasting, you just stop eating. And then you do something sensible when you know you're gonna stop your fast. You don't just go shove out and pig out and in your face with food. No, you calculate it. I'm gonna have a little bit of protein, I'm gonna have a little bit of carbohydrate, I'm gonna have a little bit of fat. And you break it in. Fasting for me was beneficial, not just because it made me feel better. I slept day two, day three, day four. I slept so much better. I fell asleep and I stayed asleep. I didn't wake up hungry, I woke up with energy. And it tripped me out, I was freaked out. And of all people, I've been obese most of my life. Of all people, I was expecting to wake up ready to fucking eat my pillow, but I didn't. And then all of a sudden, my heart wasn't skipping beats as hard, or my heart wasn't racing as much. I felt better. My skin felt better. All from not eating. Think about that. But how could you possibly not eat because it's so bad for you? You know, anything is bad for you. That's the best part about this. Don't eat fruit, makes you fat. Don't eat meat, makes you fat. Don't eat kale, that can make you fat. There's a critic for everything. And especially today's day, there's always somebody to say something. Here's the deal. Fast for 12 hours, okay? You slept six, seven hours, maybe eight. 
Just go until dinner. That's it. That's all you have to do. You skip breakfast, you skip lunch. And during that time that you're not eating, all the water you want, put a pinch of salt in there if you need to. You can have coffee, no creamer, no sugar, just black coffee, okay? That's it, you're gonna survive. Maybe some tea, no cream, no sugar, no nothing in your tea either. But you can drink that all day, down the water. Try to fill yourself up. Some people are gonna say, oh, that's bad for you. Other people are gonna say, it's good for you. I don't give a fuck what someone's gonna say. I'm telling you what I've done. I'm telling you what biggie fasting is all about, okay? Fasting protocol is you don't eat. Start with 12 hours, maybe 18, maybe go 24. Then you can go 36. So what I'm gonna start doing, and this is something that I'm gonna stick to, and we're gonna call it the biggie fast. Sunday, seven o'clock, by 7 p.m. on Sunday, I will not consume food until Tuesday at noon. So Sunday at 7 p.m., till Tuesday at noon is when I will have my next meal. And I'm gonna do that every single week. And someone's gonna say, what do you eat when you do eat? Perfect, great question. I will have some type of seafood. Maybe I'll have some crab. Maybe I'll have some scallops. Maybe I'll have some shrimp. Maybe I'll have a little bit of steak. I'm not a real big fan of chicken or turkey. Just birds just never have done it for me whatsoever. I don't really like it. I will have broccoli or I'll have cauliflower and I'll probably have some type of either potato or I will have a rice noodle. I don't do well with any kind of wheat starch type stuff, so pastas are out. I'm Italian, which really sucks, but unless I can actually make it myself, everything that you purchase has some type of bleaching, some type of bullshit attached to it. A potato, okay, just to give you a little tip on this. This is a side note, and I can make a whole other video on this, but I'm not going to, because we're, we're going straight forward. If you eat a cold potato, so you cook a potato, let it cool down, the starch is half, if not more than half, if I remember correctly, not there in a colder potato. It's weird how the chemistry works, okay? Potatoes are not gonna make you fat. Just like people say, don't eat fruit. Motherfucker, I lost 225 pounds eating fruit every day of my life. I have yet, yet to find. Hey, bro, how'd you get so fat? How'd you get obese? Oh, I binged eat strawberries. I haven't found them. So I get so pissed off when I hear that shit about don't eat fruit. No, don't put sugar on your fruit. Don't pack on a bunch of honey and powdered sugar or chocolate or caramel sauce or dip 30 strawberries in an entire tub of Nutella. That's how you get fat on fruit. A little bit of vegetables, okay? So now people are gonna say, but I don't know how much, how much, real simple. That's how much, okay? I tell everybody the palm of your hand. For instance, okay, a quarter of a cup of cashews, literally, in a measuring cup of a quarter of a cup is the size of the palm of my hand. If I make a palm, if I grab a bag and I put it in my palm, it's a quarter cup right there. That's it. Everybody's making this so fucking complicated and it drives me crazy because I did it myself. I wanted to try to make everything so perfect. And oh, if it's not right, then it's not working. And God forbid, if I ate an ounce of more of this, I gained 10 pounds. No, you fucking did it. That doesn't work that way. Because you don't do it. You don't measure. What you do is you go, ah, that looks like it. No, nope, not enough. And I know, right? The fat brain always says, the fat brain always says to you, it's not enough. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And that's how this whole thing happens. That's why we continue to not lose weight. That's why we continue to go to the scale and say, I've done everything like, no, you haven't. You're not, because you're not doing what it fucking takes because you don't have it. So with fasting, it just pushes a reset button to say, okay, I get to start over. I get a do over. I got a forgiveness for 12, 18, 24, 36, 48 hours. And now I get to go into it the right way right? So make a fist. That's how much protein you should have. Have a potato the size of your hand. Have broccoli the size of your fist or maybe two. You can have broccoli. All, you can have all the vegetables you want, but don't put butter all over it. That's just it. Some people are going to say, well, Biggie, I, I, I just can't. I, I can't. I have to have, you know, butter all over it. No, you don't have to. You fucking want to. Stop saying you have to. It's what drives me crazy about this. You don't have to anything. You want to everything. Let me tell you something. You need food and water. Everything else is a want, okay? 
remember that. You need food, you need water, and you need more sleep than you really do need food to survive. Sleep is so important and not talked about, but we will. But right now, fasting. Everybody was on this fast with me and they, they were really confused. What do I eat, right? Some people went right back to McDonald's thinking fasting is going to fix them. No, it doesn't fix you. And I don't know why people think that, but we always have an excuse for something. So with fasting, is simple. You don't eat. You drink water, you drink plain black coffee, you, blank, you drink plain tea. And when you come out of your fast, you give your body some freedom and actual some love. Here's a healthy protein, here's a healthy carbohydrate, here's a healthy fat. Someone's gonna say, what's a healthy fat? Avocados are a great healthy fat, okay? Grass-fed butter, great healthy fat. Avocado oil, olive oil. But remember something about all of these oils. There's a ton of calories in just a tablespoon of oil. So when it says one or two tablespoons is 15 or 18 grams of fat, that does not mean dump the fucking thing on there and go, I think that looks like a tablespoon. Because nine times out of 10, you just put about eight tablespoons on whatever you're trying to eat. It's about being sensible. Fasting simply just resets it to say, thank you. Your body, your organs say, thank you. I appreciate the break from you just continually see stuffing every goddamn thing into us. And I can't do anything else except give you back fat. That's it. So fasting, very simplified. All questions, all concerns, bring them to me with the fasting. I'm going to do it every week now. My body is it's just healthy. I feel great. This is coming from a fat person, a former obese person that had to eat everything and couldn't imagine not eating to now telling you we're going to be just fine not eating for a short period of time.